Uh, my name is Evgenia, but usually people call me Evie. And I'm here today with the incredible Audi NPK. I'm going to talk today about, uh, I guess, the hottest topic. It has been hot in the past several years. And that's the difference between Kizomba and Urban. Alright, so I'm just going to dive in. Audi, when you first started dancing Kizomba, were you dancing Kizomba or Urban? Uh, when I first started, it was more of the style of what we call today urban. Of course, at the time, maybe more Kizom Fusion as they was using. I don't necessarily like this term. Uh, more also than the came French style that people were using. Um, I necessarily don't like this term either, but I guess now that it's kind of called urban, yeah, I kind of started with urban. I had been dancing urban for four years and Kizomba for two years. So I later learned Kizomba two years later. So you started out with urban. Yes. Uh, but I know that you, you're you really good at dancing Kizomba as well. Um, and you not only dance both, but you enjoy dancing both. So can you kind of comment, I guess like the next question would be, what is urban and what is Kizomba? Um, Definitely Kizomba is the cherished dance that comes from Angola mm -hmm. that was in its original style of the way they dance in Angola and Angola, I don't want to give like details of how they dance or what you tend to hear, it's dance in a circular way or you know, body movement or they call jinga, different things um, For me, I understood, to kind of like be brief in answering, answering the question I understood that you had Kizomba from Angola, you had, you know, maybe let's just say first generation of people actually learn Kizomba, but then because of the music changed and then dancing the dance that they learned to that music and adapting it to the music, it started to change the way the dance originally is and also you're dancing it on different music to where naturally as time went on, you had maybe generation one people maybe dancing Kizomba, with a lot of elements of Kizomba and then maybe a few elements of like, I guess, their background into the dance to where generations went, it was maybe less of the foundational Kizomba Kizomba aspects and more of their background and more of this evolution to where maybe we go generation 3 to where now you can clearly, clearly look and see urban is nothing really close visually to actual Kizomba so you would argue as a separate dance? Um, I would say that they are a separate dances, but in a sense, different styles. Which is like weird to say that you're choosing both, but for me, the different dances, because one is like dancing on completely different music, mm -hmm. That's in a completely different way. The musicality is completely different. The understanding, background, culture, all of this is completely different. Um, I've done a test um, in my city, living in Dallas, showing two people that are not in the community of Kizomba, and I'm not asking them, uh, look at this video of this person dancing Simba, this person dancing Urban Keys and they both clearly said that like it looks different but it looks like they have maybe a tango hold, I don't know but it's interesting with no music at that as well and they could clearly see that it was different so yes, it's so different to that extent that you in my opinion have to call it a different dance but then it's hard and I understand why some people kind of disagree because also it seems like it's a different style because it's so many elements that I personally use and other instructor dancers that you use so many elements from Kizomba as well and you kind of put them in your urban keys that you don't feel like when the music changes when you're dancing urban and now you're dancing Kizomba that you change so much that when you talk to some followers like I've spoken to, they feel like when that change happens from someone dancing urban, DJ changes the music, now it's Kizomba, it's Simba or whatnot, mm -hmm. they don't feel like them personally, they have changed the way that they're following or the dance that they're dancing. It's not like they now have music changed and now they're dancing Brazilian Zouk or music changed and they're dancing salsa. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of elements that can blend over. So I will, different dance, but yet in some sense, very, very, very similar. So would you say that maybe the foundation is the same or...? 
Or maybe it's uh, it, the, these two styles, they kind of belong to one family. I would think if it's, if urban is a completely separate dance, then it would be called not urban kizomba, but something like a totally separate word, right? Definitely. I like, agree in the sense that I would be in favor that it's a different name all the way from kizomba. I think that definitely it's an evolution of kizomba. So in some sense, it, in my opinion, belong, belongs under like this family of dances that belong to Kizomba. Mm -hmm. But you can belong, you know, under the family, but they're very different, you know, dances. In my opinion, based on the way I dance some other instructors' dancers, they have a very similar like foundation you can use, but it can also go far away. Let's just say even let's just take Ina, he's kind of like mm -hmm. on this end, and then we have the, you know, Kizomba Simba on this end. We can say that maybe you know, the way he dances, he doesn't use much of a kizomba foundation, kizomba elements, we can say. But you have this middle space that we tend to call whatever is outside of kizomba, urban keys, this moment. Um, and you have dancers that can, I can dance in a similar way of kizomba, body beating. Um, I can insert the basic steps, regular, so, 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 and I can do all of this in my urban. And have like when I teach the suave, the jinga, um, these basic foundational elements, but then do urban key steps, which then it makes it seem that it's in relation to kizomba even more so. But definitely for me, it's like different from kizomba. So if you imagine this grid, right, Ina's on one side, um, and then say like a, a, a true Angolan who grew up dancing kizomba since he was five, where are you? On the screen. It's an interesting grid because I feel that like if this is like Kizomba, it's almost like as soon as you cross this line, you are like now into the urban key section. Mm -hmm. So it's more or less, in my opinion, maybe we have like a section with a line, a section with a line, so you have three sections. Kizomba what it is, as soon as you cross the line, uh -huh. you're no longer dancing kizomba in my opinion. I have elements, but it's different. I would be in this middle section because I still love, that's why I love to dance kizomba samba as well, because uh, it's elements that are in these dances that I love to do, that I just enjoy doing. So just because I am interpreting the way I'm dancing to, let's say, urban style music, I can still do regular in my urban, rest of sesso in my urban, etc. Um, body the I have the suave, jinga, movement, different things in my, I can put this in my urban, I like to do this, because I like the feeling that maybe then we put Ina in this third section mm -hmm. where he has taken away a lot of those key number elements. And invented a lot of new cool moves. Right? So, but how would you comment about the tension that we all know exists kind of um, well I guess primarily in social media and sometimes on the dance floor. There is criticism of of uh, you know and it's going both ways from Kizomba dancers uh, you know versus urban um, and the other way around. Now how does that make you feel? Um, with the tension and some of the like you know you see it on Facebook and it's kind of Yes, it can definitely shy some people away or it becomes like tiring. But honestly, in my opinion, yes, things can go too far or whatnot. I'm not speaking on behalf of how far things go, but the letting things be known for what they are and really getting the point across to people. And of course, people, it's billions of people on this earth, everybody, different background, different understanding, different opinions on like everything. Um, I think that it's really good that the war sort of happened because it needed to be known that like how they dance Kizomba in Angola is like this is Kizomba. What evolved from this to what you know is really popular in Europe or not or like you know came from France is not like Kizomba. And maybe you don't understand what it's like for a dance to be cherished by a culture, for them to have a war go through hard times, this dance kind of brought them happiness and brought them closer together it has a huge impact of their culture and 
it is danced a certain way, and then someone, of course, which naturally happens, evolution or definitely being from another country, you then learn it, and after you put your own background, your own mix and spice on it, and it changes, but you don't, in my opinion, want to call that Kizongo because I would never want 20 years later someone to see what we call an Arabic keys, but let's just say being called Kizongo, I wouldn't want anyone to see that dance and say, hey, I learned Kizongo. Then when you show them the actual Kizomba, they even say, I don't know about that, that's not Kizomba, yeah, because what I learned was mm -hmm. this one over here. You know? So I am, I really am in agreement for the name change. I think Kizomba being as a word, I don't like Kizomba fusion because you use the word Kizomba. Uh -huh. I don't like Wala well, Arabic Kizomba because you use the word Kizomba. Of course, we understand that the keys stands for Kizomba, but at least for a search engine or mm -hmm. something like this, when you put urban keys, KIZ maybe because it comes from evolution of Kizomba, but in my opinion, urban KIZ, especially if it's one word, urban KIZ, never will a search engine bring up like Kizomba, you know? Oh, okay. But so, if you type in Kizomba, well, then 90% of chance you'll actually end up seeing something that's exactly. urban. Just to summarize, it's, it's very important to get a, and pass on a clear message and to, I guess, properly name these two movements or these two dances, however you put it. Imagine I'm from Angola and I grew up there and, and I danced Kizomba all my life. And then one day I'm in Paris and someone tells me, there's a social going on. So I go into this club, I can imagine what shock I'd be in and they'll be like, why are you calling this Kizomba? So we really need to respect uh, show some respect for the culture. Um, now, you mentioned in your workshops that if you have a good Kizomba foundation, uh, you can actually, and you want to learn urban, uh, you can easily build up on that, but you can't go the other way around. Could you uh, tell me more about that? Why is uh, that? <laughs> for me, in my urban, I teach the foundation of Kizomba because it gives you, it starts you off with this for me, I like the understanding of like feeling is very important in the dance. Like subtlety is very important. Musicality is very important. Rather than urban seems and could be classified as like a dance of like tricks or like show. Mm -hmm. So I like this like foundation and seeing that Kizomba is the like original and urban keys is an evolution. You can always take from the original of something and add different things from like the evolution, but. For me, in my opinion, you don't want to have an original of something that was perfectly fine as it was as the original. And of course, for things to live on, you need evolution. And of course, naturally, when definitely a dance, a country, Angola, is dancing a dance, naturally, if you take Americans, Europeans, and they dance the same dance, they don't have African culture, they don't have African movement, it's going to naturally look like an evolution of something different. So what I mean you can't go back the other way is when you have Kizomba and you have the evolution, you don't want to take things from the evolution and try to put it in the original when it was fine as it was as an original. But that is what I would say like as a message of like the mentality needs to be that way. But I always encourage people to dance everything, learn all of it, because definitely for me, starting with urban, as soon as I started learning Kizomba, one, you start to have a better appreciation for it, learn about the history, it's a beautiful culture that is like really intriguing. Then you learn elements from Kizomba that if you feel like it's a different dance, you learn elements over here that if you just like with urban, you just have urban. But if you can take elements from here and put this in your urban, you just become better. You're just adding to your basket. So now you understand the subtlety, the suave, the jingle, the body movement, blah, blah, etc. Was it hard for you though, because you started out with urban and then you learned Kizomba? Um, it actually wasn't hard for me because before I learned urban, I was already dancing African dances. Okay. Like Asanto, so, Sukus, Nambu, oh, okay. etc. You had the body movement down. Exactly. They all give me different feelings. So when you play Kizomba, I have this like Caribbean, nice flow. I can like hum the songs, I like the songs. Feeling things to be soft, subtle. When it's like Simba, I feel like I can clown, bring the African side like out. Mm -hmm. When it's like, let's just even say urban keys and going into that like section realm, that's kind of what I know more. 
if it's like a R and B remix kind of chill, I'm able to have like this soft feeling, maybe dance on the lyrics, what I really like. Maybe it's instrumental. Then maybe I go into a mentality of like tricks, steps, bum bum bum, dancing on tempo. Then when the star show, it's like that monster beast kind of just comes into you and mm -hmm. gives you this like energy and the boom, and I thought that I like the bass. So it all gives me a like different feeling. So I enjoy having the change through a social. And the music basically dictates how you dance. You're exactly. not limited to just one style. Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes one of the other accusations against Urban was that it's a very uh, uh, stiff dance. So it has a it has a pretty stiff frame. Uh, you walk in grids. You make ninety degree, hundred eighty degree turns. With it being firm and strict and very precise, uh, once you get to a certain level, uh, I'm sure um, it, it it corresponds and relates better to Urban music. Definitely, I would agree. Definitely what you said about like, it's all interpretation of music. In my opinion, you have urban, uh, I mean, you have like popping and hip hop like style, mm -hmm. Jabberwocky style moving. This is like stiff, you need tension in your body to pop to do different things. Um, salsa even is, you need the tension. You look at dancers and sometimes they look stiff. But I don't think this is a knock or should be a criticism of a dance because you need it to dance in this particular way. But what it then goes back to what can help it is you by adding or learning body movement or tarashinya or like on the keys on the side, implementing this, it does nothing but make it like in my opinion better. And you kind of need the grid sort of north, south, east, west sort of things in the terms as you mentioned because it gives it like this clean look, this precision. But you want to say it's robotic? Um, different people dance differently with different styles, different levels. So if you have never danced before and you have no body movement, you don't have anything, you start learning Kizomba and they teach you that feeling, body movement and stuff. When you start learning urban keys, what you tend to get is people teach you the steps that you need the tension in order to follow. The same way if you just start salsa, the same way you have Kizomba dancers that dance salsa, you need mm -hmm. that like tension so if you like as i said like take some of the other dances and different elements and you kind of mix them it can help the dance so where we tend to see some instructors they maybe dance stiff and it looks like it's robotic this is like their way of dancing of course their way of dancing can affect a lot of people but for me you can even mention like lauren and me you know they dance as an example you have body movement, you have feeling, you don't want to feel robotic, but I don't think the dancing on the grid makes it feel robotic. It can be smooth at the same time. Exactly. For me, it makes it precise and like a clean look. So this doesn't mean that I don't do regular or resuccesso or even Australia and go at different angles and do this. But for me, it's like when I start in a way and I, let's say open and I follow, I want to, if I'm facing north, open her west. And it looks like it's on a clean path rather than I'm facing north and I go to open my follow. And maybe it's visually looked at for me, in my opinion, a lack of technique. Because rather than opening like directly west, you open at an angle. Mm -hmm. And for me, it looks like it's a lack of technique. So Can I ask what your educational background is? Because if I were to guess, it would be statistics, mathematics. <laughs> exactly. Um, I like uh, math, I like finance, numbers, um, so I have an accounting background, accounting degree. Okay. In accounting before I was blessed to, I guess, start traveling for dance, you know. So my last question would be, how do you differentiate yourself from other instructors? Hard for me to say what differentiates me from anyone else. Um, I feel like I can be differentiated from a lot of different people and some people may have similar like, outlooks but as an instructor what differentiates me is definitely teaching like concepts, technique, foundation, steps, all of it. Um, as like being your PK, musicality, personality, you know, so a lot of, like teaching musicality is like huge because everything depends on the music, you start dancing because of the music. 
Um, and then not only do you just need to hear the music, you need to like capture an energy from the song, interpret this to your follow, and you need to like dance like with the music. And I feel that not to speak on like other instructors, but I feel for me, I'm one of I guess the few that really put a focus on being able to be musical. But you need like the techniques and the foundation to be able to uh, achieve or complete some of the tasks here. So it's sort of like building blocks that you need to know this to really be able to understand to do that. So that's why I said the kind of differentiates me. Well, thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Merci.